Hey everyone, welcome back to the Schmel PPC channel. Now it's actually going to be named Colin Schmelbeck, uh, just to match my brand on Twitter and going towards more of that personal brand and not so much a PPC brand. Uh, just want to say welcome back. Uh, going to be doing more videos now. Can I get away from Twitter? Can I combine everything here um, as a one kind of essential place? Now, just a quick video today. I kind of want to go over, had a great question on Twitter talking about how do I set up an account's uh, campaign structures, what kind of campaigns I want to prioritize, and how do I get results for my clients. So I wanted to kind of break it down in a quick Google Doc view to show you how I kind of strategize internally uh, new accounts or even new campaigns for an existing client and stuff like that. So let's, let's break it down. Overall, um, how I like to structure everything kind of comes in four waves, kind of top to the bottom approach. Um, you may kind of think of you know the classic new like the funnel uh, click funnel stuff like that um you know top of the traffic or new you know new traffic to warm to engage stuff like that um i do kind of model that but i think it's a little bit different in terms of how to how to use that with google ads campaigns and strategies there it's just a little bit different um so i just want to break it down so let's, let's get to it so the very first one are awareness campaigns these should be, you know, most of your ad spend should be in this situation. Um, obviously, it can be very, a little bit variable, uh, account to account, and vary across that. Um, but for most accounts, you want to have most of your spend here because the goal of Google Ads for most of my clients and people I've talked to is getting new customers or obtaining new traffic or getting your offer and product and services out to new customers and people have not heard of you before. So, this is the very first thing, and the main focus here is on uh, new traffic or new sessions, new customers, right? That's the very first thing. I always wanna go on that awareness side. Um, now, after that, if you get new customers in your funnel or new traffic interested in your product or your site or you show them your offer and your products, how many of them are gonna convert on a one click or one interaction to you, you know, basis? Not very many. So to set that up now, say if you have you know, 100,000 new um, people hearing from you week to week or month to month, how can you make sure they actually purchase from you at one point or learn to trust your brand. And I think that's like the biggest thing people miss in Google Ads is they're good at finding new traffic, they're good at converting like, you know, very hot traffic, like brand traffic, stuff like that. But they don't really do a good job at getting trust from those new customers, those new eyeballs that have never heard of them before. So the next thing is nurturing. Ooh. Nurturing, oh boy, campaigns. Here, focus. Uh, getting engaged new traffic back to your funnel website. So here, you can kind of take a, a, a blanket approach and if you want, want to do like all new traffic, stuff like that, you definitely can. Um, if you have enough traffic and not enough ad dollars, I would probably push more towards the engaged side. So people have, you know, visit a product page for 60 plus seconds, um, visited multiple pages, uh, went to the cart, went to the checkout, again, and didn't finish those processes, of course, um, and you wanna get them back to the funnel. Um, and a, a neat little hack, a pro tip, I should say, is tip, test, test sending traffic back to um, the specific product page. So product page interested in, or cart page even. Um, if you're actually targeting like add to cart, stuff like that, they mo most more than likely visit that page, right? So send it back, back to the cart and the sessions just still have their information in that cart. So I tested this on the last couple uh, accounts actually and it works very, very well in terms of converting and even adding um, to AOV to the process because of uh, upsells and cross-sells in the cart or in that checkout process. So that's the second thing, right? First thing is awareness campaigns, get that new traffic. And then the second thing is nurturing campaigns to so focus on getting that engaged new traffic back and have them convert. After that, third one is purchase ready. Here, you wanna convert warm customers and bonus points, bonus, increase AOV. And how do you do that? Example, send traffic to bundles, package, pages. Um, this way, they're not looking at just one product, looking at a little bit higher AOV set type of products, and this kind of gives them a little a bigger value before they even get into the whole upsell and cross-sell part of the checkout funnel. Um, but the main thing here is just, this is where your brand campaigns come into play. 
um, your hard remarketing, so you know um, they're gonna convert probably. Even I would say general remarketing gets in nurturing here, and maybe more that um, hey, I know you looked at this. Here's that offer with a discount, stuff like that, in this purchase ready campaign. Um, this is kind of where everything comes down to a point, and this is the very bottom of the point. Is that purchase ready? And now after this, it's gonna be a flipped diagram like this. So it goes here, then flipped here. Now what we want, and this is kind of cherry points, I don't think many people even do this, and this is what I love doing for my clients, is existing customers. Now most of my DC clients want to increase lifetime value, you know, and have repeat purchases or try new purchases of a product that's related to their first purchase, right? And that's where email marketing really comes into play and SMS marketing, I think they do a good job in that, but not many people try to think beyond that and go to how does that, how can I use Google Ads for that? Which Google Ads is made to do that as well with customer lists and now how everyone has access to that or used to have you know, the 50K spend threshold before you can even get access to that. So you need to maximize that. So focus on increasing lifetime value of existing uh, customers. Now this could be some display campaign, discovery campaigns. Uh, the main thing here is just showcase um, either new products, related products, offers, promotions, big holiday deals to either all-time customers, that's the, the main one, um, segmented down by like MVP pro customers, like your two, three plus purchase products or customers there, um, maybe sales cycles, you know, if, hey, or the use case cycle, I should say, maybe they bought it, I, I, you know, 30 days ago, now it should be another one, like a, like a subscription-based product, right? Start showcasing them ads to get them back in that subscription or, or another product. Um, this is really where I think people leave a lot of money on the table and where I think most people could start doing some campaigns here. So again, quick video today, just want to go on how I break out campaigns and accounts for uh, my clients and people I talk to that are looking to kind of get into that as well. Um, so take this as, and if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and yeah, be getting back probably tomorrow for another video and have a great Thursday.